because of Crouch. But uh, unfortunately, Piranha Plant just has it rough. So now we're getting into the match. Yep. Because Yoshi was playing on Street just a little while ago, yeah. and they almost got, uh, almost got a win off of uh, Tadeo. Yeah. The he took a game. game. He took a game on Luigi, but not yeah. on Yoshi. The Yoshi Inkling was very close, though. Yeah. He's a very good Yoshi. Mm -hmm. And Yoshi has a lot of really good tools. Uh, this mm -hmm. game. Uh, I would say even more so in this game than in four. Uh, yeah, definitely. It's been a while since I played four, but, like, but the, the the nair out of shield is incredible. The down air, uh, well, the if anything, the, the knockback on down air. Mm -hmm. Now that was that was unfortunate. That, I think the big thing for Yoshi is that, like compared to the last game, is that the mechanics of the game as a whole really benefit him. Yes. Also, I think his combo game is way better, but more so, I think just. The expanded set of movement options. Well, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure how they changed his up air in, uh, coming from four, but it's yeah. from what I've seen much easier to string out of. Yeah, um, I think the big thing is that like one, I think they tweaked the knockback a little, but before he just kind of swung his tail straight up, yeah. whereas now he sort of does a swiping does motion, a swing, yeah. so it's a little easier to hit. Super to play. Like Pretty off of something it. like uh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, so he's, so I think it's a me was just trying to go low, uh, try to see me if he could uh, get back up from below while giving his opponent a hard time edge guarding him. But unfortunately for him, Super Kitty is just like, I'm gonna go down to where you are and smack you before you can even jump. Yeah. In, in this game feels even, mm -hmm. I won't say even better, but just like the, the amount of distance you can get yeah. on the egg or the air dodge and the super armor on that second mm -hmm. jump. Um, yeah. Yoshi can go, is fairly yeah. safe coming from fairly dead. Yeah. yeah one stock off of Super yeah. Kitty. You got, you got a stock off of Super Kitty. That's, yeah, that's the first step to taking three, I'd say. High, so it's uh, definitely going to be an uphill yeah. battle. It is for sure, especially when he put gets put in situations like that, where one mistake and he's he's done for. And now you can see exactly why he picked Airborne Assault. Now I do think that, that, that in, in cases like that where they are away from the ledge, um, it is going to be an effective way to get back to the stage. But there's a lot of Ooh, nice game. That game. So we're seeing it's a me. Uh, is really taking back stage control right now. Yeah. And oh, Racking he he didn't go down. for the uh, the neutral B to up B. I'm not sure if it was true at that range. I like, I feel like you have to space it in a pretty specific way to get it. And it looks like uh, it's a, he's gotten a lot better at recovering and kind yeah. of baiting out the forward air. Front. Yeah, and that that's going a really long way. Ooh, yeah, that's... that's yeah, it's going a really long way for Itsumi. Yeah. I might be able to get one more stock, though, since it's looking like. So, like... This is still very much possible for Itsumi, but like we're gonna have to see uh, how his composure, um, like if he's able to maintain his composure uh, up until he gets a kill here and throughout the whole next stock, when one mistake will get him killed. Yeah, but I think what we're seeing is that uh, Itsumi is beginning to. Like figure out what Super Kitty is trying to do, exactly. and I feel like this next match is going to be a lot harder for Super Kitty because of that. Definitely. Like I know there's some players are just game one they have a really hard time, and then after that it's like they know their opponent, oh, yeah. and suddenly they start it just takes some people a little stomping. To, to figure out yeah. The play style of their opponent, but once yeah. they've got it down, you know sometimes these can completely mm. turn around. So the question is, can Super Kitty adapt back to? Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, we're going to 
Fox Ooh, did and I Isabel. see Isabel? Hmm. It's a character you don't see a whole lot of. Oh, this. this is... hmm. Oh. hmm. I think you're gonna have a lot to say about this match. Oh, oh never no, mind. Oh, oh, so I see we have an interesting dog versus hedgehog match with Isabel versus Sonic. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> I see they open with taunting. With so, like. what's gonna win? Uh, Sonic's spin dash or Isabel's fishing rod? Uh, I wanna say Isabel's fishing rod. Yeah, but so far it's looking like Sonic's spin dash is doing really well. Absolutely. Even though he only used it once. A down tilt is much more effective as than I thought it was. This is a really weird Sonic game where Sonic swings forks and cannonballs yeah, everywhere. Have you ever seen Sonic in games? Yeah. Before. Very interesting direction for the series, I must say. Sega's made some interesting design choices for this one. Yeah. But I mean, clearly it's working for beating uh, Animal Crossing in sales. We're just seeing that spin dash is such a good move. It's making it really hard for uh, for Super Kitty to make openings. Not to mention Sonic summoning robots. Isn't that Robotnik's thing? Uh, not anymore, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> if you can't beat him, join him, I guess. I think it was gonna actually go out that um, like at that velocity. Ooh. <laughs> Almost killed there. Ooh, unfortunately he missed the second balloon. Yeah, otherwise it would have gotten that edge guard. <laughs> he was trying to go for the sledge. Hmm? Looks like it's a Ooh! Oh! Ooh. I can tell that it's a me was not ready for that. <laughs> Seems like Animal Crossing sales are starting to pick up. What is, e E3 is coming up. Yeah, E3 is coming up. We're we're about to get probably a new Animal Crossing character in Smash. I hope any Animal Crossing is as good news. Yeah. Yeah. But we're gonna have to see if Animal Crossing's able to outsell, uh... Which Sonic game is this? Uh, Sonic Roboblast. That's a good name. Not looking too good for Super Mario though. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's looking like, uh... It's looking like Sonic's a really rough matchup for Isabel, I I gotta say. Oh man, fishing for those grabs, I see. Oh, almost. Almost got him. Unfortunately a little slow on that uh spring from Sonic. But then the cannonball will close out the round. That looks to be that's gonna even up one one. I want to take a moment after we've seen that to appreciate Inkling's clapping animation. Not as good as some other characters. Yeah, I think, I, think, I, I think DK probably still has the best one. DK's got a very good one. Uh, we'll see if we got any 
character swaps here. Yeah. It's interesting. We've seen like radically different character choices this whole set. Yeah, definitely. But it looks like it's a me is sticking with uh, BJ. Yeah. And we see Super Kitty going back to good old bright Yoshi. This is the deciding match to see who's gonna win the set. So you may have seen that Sonic Sales was able to outpass Animal Crossing, but can it outpa outpace Yoshi's Crafted World? That's a good question. That was a scary situation. If uh, if Super Kitty had like an egg uh, at the ledge, that would have been a really bad position for It's a Me. Or if he just down aired him and didn't like get the finisher hit. Then I don't think BJ would have gotten his clown car back. Yeah, really unfortunate position. That downer uh, going straight up is definitely something that I never expected. Sort of expected down here to. So we're seeing Itzumi is being really patient right now, just looking for his opening. I think he's shooting for side B up B, but like I don't th one I don't think that works in this game. And two, I don't think it works at this percent. So I don't I don't really know what he's looking for. Ooh. Yoshi definitely has more area mobility and then helps him out here. And I was yeah. saying, like, just yeah. Really yeah. Yoshi, I think, has the fastest airspeed in the game. Yeah, one, because of the way they, they can um, they can sort of maneuver around yeah. the, in the air. Uh, so we're two minutes in and still no one's been able to fish out that kill move. Yeah, they're both in. They're both in kill yeah, position. Yeah, really time. rough position for both of them, I'd say. One wrong move. Like, and that's unfortunately uh, BJ up throw doesn't kill that fast. And then, ah oh man, unfortunate way to go out. And now, and now, and now Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. reminding this man that his dad works at Nintendo as the CEO. <laughs> See. His dad's the, the CEO of Nintendo, that. and he can delete this Yoshi from Nintendo canon. <laughs> well, we'll see if it happens for just a few more stocks. Almost hit him with the F smash. The F smash. Down to getting a lot of, a lot of use on this one. Also, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe this is the first game that Yoshi can jump in their side beat. Uh, jump what? Jump in their side beat, the egg. Jump out of side beat? No, jump in while using it. Oh, uh, I'm not sure. Probably. I, I, I'm pretty sure that's the case. I don't remember that being a thing before, yeah, but I, remember, I, don't remember that you being I didn't exactly. know much about Yoshi. Uh, I know it wasn't the thing in Smash 64, for sure. But then again, Yoshi side B wasn't a thing at all in Smash 64. Ooh, yeah. Again, he tries to go low, and then like he's thinking that Super Kitty's not gonna run off and hit him out of it. And then Super Kitty just does. This is a really close game. This is a very close game. Really safe right now, Yoshi. Waiting for Bowser Jr. to give him an opportunity to get in. Yeah. Bowser Jr. trying to get get in like a projectile or a bomb.
He just went. If only he picked up. If only he had forked instead of. Uh... Oh, Ooh, but nice. Close. Nice recovery. Oh, I'll say. It. It's a means reset to neutral. Yeah, this, this is anyone's game at this point. After being in a near impossible situation. Very close to kill percentage. Yeah. Ooh. That's something that Super Kitty is doing really well this match. He's just calling out uh, so many of its amuse options. This is very close and very yeah. intense. Any one of these players could die at any moment. Yep the right move which unfortunately is not jab oh oh he lost his oh, jump he oh no jump. oh that's unfortunate that was a very close yeah sometimes you just jump into an explosion and die <laughs>